What is up guys, let's talk about the Android skins, some of the most popular skins. Let's talk about what are your favorite Android skins and then we have iOS as well that we'll throw in the mix here. So I have the most popular ones, um, I guess. So we have MIUI, this is 12.5, Oxygen OS, uh, this phone has not gotten the Android E12 update yet, but I've seen the skin and it is it has a nice visual change, but uh, for right now we're just talking about the Android 11 skin. And then we have Android 12, we have One UI 4 on the S21 Ultra, and then we have the 13 Pro uh, with iOS 15 on here. So I just want to go ahead and talk about uh, just how some of the you know skins function and how they differ to iOS and stock Android and etc. So let's go ahead and get started here. Alright so one of the things that I do a lot on my phone is multitasking and I think that MIUI has one of my favorite implementations of multitasking so if I go ahead and I open up a lot of applications on uh, MIUI here you can see that it gives it to me like this. So you see how these are scrolling side to side. I really love that I'm able to see all of my icons and stuff. Um, like all at once like this so I really really enjoy uh, how they do that here and also instead of just giving you just this plain view on MIUI they also give you the deep clean option you hit the clean security scan and then I can manage my applications from here and bring up the floating uh, window as well so I think MIUI has just nailed it or Xiaomi has nailed it when it comes to multitasking uh, as far as all of the other ones, they actually all pretty much multitask. Uh, the same here with Samsung. You know, you do have a few options here, but just not as much as MIUI, as you can see. So I think Samsung does it second best. I can get to my split screen. And then Samsung has a very cool pop up window feature, which is extremely slept on. So I really do uh, like this little pop up window. Um, I don't think anyone else does that on Android. So I absolutely love that. It's just a really nice feature. Like I said, very slept on. And one of the things that I absolutely do not understand with iOS is that iOS, you can see how Android has a clear all button or a close all, clear all, cl clear all, uh, X button right here. iOS, you have to individually flick the applications, uh, which is annoying because... Um, like where is the the clear all button or is there some is there something I'm missing somebody let me know because I know you can you can two finger swipe but let's say I have like you know 15 applications open do I really want to two finger uh, swipe you know and keep doing that why not just put a single clear all button on iOS I don't get it um, but yeah so multitasking I really enjoy on MIUI 12 right, so let's talk about the app drawer and um, again MIUI does a very good job um, here sort of making it a little bit more unique here so I have all of my applications here communication entertainment photography tools news reading etc games so they sort of have everything set up and organized uh, for you just so if you have a ton of applications instead of just scrolling through them and getting lost um, you stay sure to organize them you know by genre here or by category um, oxygen OS sort of um, you know it's just very plain swipe. If you hold down right here, it'll so you can get to the letter to find an application. But like I said, I really like the how they do it on MIUI. Now, Android, very simple. As you can see, it is pretty much the same as Oxygen OS. And Samsung does the scrolling like this, uh, which is really nice. Um, also, your search, Samsung has a lot going on right here as far as the search um, as well too. Um, so the app drawers again it varies on you know what you like and then Apple just introduced their you know recently they didn't used to have this but this app library so everything is sort of uh, categorized by itself so it'll put everything by itself like when you download games it'll put everything in the games folder I didn't do any of this productivity so they do a really great job of this too but instead the issue with um, I think iOS is that I have to if I have a lot of pages of applications I have to keep scrolling all the way until I get to the app uh, library and um, I think you can yeah no you can't do it that way um, yeah so that's you know sort of one thing but at least they do have it now because they did not used to have it, it just used to be a page um, of applications Alright, let's talk about your drop-down menu. This is where Samsung and MIUI shine. 
I absolutely love the brightness trigger that they have right here. It's so easy to use. I do not really like the one on uh, Oxygen OS because if it's um if it's sunny outside and like the screen is dim and you need to turn it up, right? Like this is very hard. Like I know where to put my hand, but it feels like I have to put it like right on the thing. And this thing is small and it always annoys me. Um, so the bigger you can, the bigger the brightness slider, like on iPhone, this is pretty big too. Um, the bigger the brightness slider, the easier to get when your phone is like dim like that. Uh, that is one thing that I noticed. I hate that on Oxygen OS. And it's the same, pretty much the same on um, the Pixel. It's very uh, big. So the bigger, I need, like for all skins, any OS, the brightness slider has to be big. I do not like the small, skinny brightness sliders. I absolutely hate it. Um, and as far as your features that comes with each skin, so Samsung, extremely underrated when it comes to Samsung. They throw in a ton of features, uh, like a lot of their phones. And if we add the S Pen support to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, then you got you have way more features that you can mess with. But uh, the unique things with Samsung phones is that I think they do Samsung desktop and wireless desktop. I think they do that the best. Uh, also the secure folders and like I said these are features like secure folders you can sort of like get applications for that to sort of uh, mimic it but it's built into um, it's built into one UI 4 um, and also we do have on here um, these phones do have wireless power sharing as well but a few other Android other Android phones have that as well what's really nice is the Samsung Edge um, as well too so I've said this is a slept on feature uh, for Samsung opening two applications at once and I can also I can also choose which application I want so if I want to open up web browser and YouTube or choose anything I want to do um, I could do it like that so that is one thing that I really like it's just a very useful um, little thing here as you can see I can go ahead and edit and do you know whatever I want to do uh, with this so I've always really loved the Samsung uh, edge thing a lot of Xiaomi phones and I think Xiaomi is like the only company that's still putting the IR blaster in their phones extremely 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 slept on feature Samsung used to have it I believe back in the day they took it out the IR blaster is so awesome I do not even use my own remote because once you have the remote uh, on here you just use your phone you can use it for any TV monitor um, it even works on air conditioners, so the IR Blaster is something really slept on, but it looks like it's only in Xiaomi phones. I don't know any other company that also has the IR uh, Blaster. Now let's talk about widgets. Widgets on Android have gotten very, very boring. Most people, when I look at their setup on their Android phones, they don't even use widgets. iOS has awesome widget implementation now. Um, Android, steal this from iOS. The Stacking widgets on top of each other is such a awesome, just awesome. Please steal this feature. It's really nice, and I don't have to clutter my home screen uh, with widgets. Um, I can just have them stacked all together. So that was a really good idea uh, for you know from Apple here. Now Samsung, I think second they do widgets the best. One UI four. I just like the design of the widgets. Very clean looking, very classy looking. So I think they do widgets next. Uh, Google's widgets are okay. Um, you know, they're alright. Google, you know, like with Google, it's very bare minimum. They have a very, their Google-y look. I, I like the, um, I still prefer like the um, the Samsung if I was going to run widgets. I don't really use widgets on Oxygen OS. They're not really, um, you know, they're not really just, they don't, I don't like the way they look. Uh, and, this, and the same thing goes from UI 12. I just don't like the way they look. So I would say like widgets is really good on one UI and then it's just the best on iOS right now. The stacking thing is something that I really, really like. Talk about the settings menu. So just off the rip, Google has the easiest settings uh, to navigate through. I just noticed it's just easy to find things because it's not just, it's not, it's not a lot of stuff in um, Android 12, the stock version. So everything is very simple, easy to find. You know exactly where uh, to go. I would say the worst settings menu is MIUI 12. I absolutely hate this settings menu. I hate how everything is organized. I hate it. Um, I can't stand coming in here and, and like trying to figure out where stuff is and fix stuff. It, they just make it really complicated. Um, and I don't, I don't even want to really go through it like that. Oxygen OS, they do a great job. One of my favorite things about it, very clean. 
uh, very easy to get the things, very easy to find things. There, there are a lot of stuff is where you would think is at. So once you get a phone and you get a new skin, you're like, okay, I think it should be in utilities. I think it should be in X, Y, Z. MIUI does it in a, a really weird and stupid way. They have stuff everywhere to me. It's extremely messy. Uh, One UI, they've done a great job, um, especially with One UI. Three and four, they've done a great job cleaning it up. It used to be really messy, um, but they did an excellent job. Everything is where you would think uh, it's going to be. And iOS has always been extremely simple. It's just really easy uh, to mess with application settings and stuff like that. They literally got it like right here in the settings. So this is also extremely easy to navigate. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about gestures. And um, the thing about iOS is that you don't have the button thing. Um, like on Android, you, so you know, it's the gestures. They're very smooth. Um, all the gestures are smooth. I like to use the buttons from time to time. Android gestures are pretty smooth as well. Um, they pretty much feel the same to me, so I have no issues there. Like I said, sometimes I like to go to the buttons. Um, it just depends. Now iOS does have like that assistive touch uh, thing on it, but I don't really like that that much because the bubble is always on the screen. I'll try to show it to you guys. Uh, where is it at? Yeah, this little thing right here, the assistive touch. Like, yeah, I just I just don't like this thing. I just don't like the, the bubble being there, like right there. Now, one thing I want to mention is I want to talk about customizing your icons and all that good stuff. So, this is why I like Oxygen OS because they have a dedicated customization settings uh, right here. So, I can, I love how everything is organized from the fingerprint scanner. Uh, you can see I can mess with the horizontal lights. Um, I have all of these little things and it's organized in this little window here. Now with Samsung, everything is sort of so if I wanted to customize the like fingerprint scanner or something like that, you know, I would have to go to fingerprint uh, settings and stuff like that. And um, I just think Oxygen OS, they do this so well. So as you can see, my system icons, I can change uh, those. I can change my icon pack. So I can go in here, it'll take me right to the Play Store where I can change my icon packs without having to go to the theme store and do all that stuff. Um, so I just like how Oxygen OS does this. I've always really appreciated uh, how they make this very simple and very uh, clean to do. On MIUI in the Galaxy, um, you have to sort of go to the Galaxy Store if you want to customize stuff and you know change icons and do all that stuff. You can see I can change my color palettes and stuff like that. As you can see them changing. Um, but yeah, so you know, I just like the way Oxygen OS does it. iOS still does not have very good customization um, as far as I know you guys have probably seen a lot of those iPhone videos where they change the icons and stuff, but it is a hassle and it's not, it's nowhere near as easy as uh, how it's done on Android. So I think Apple will eventually allow you to change your icons, but again, Apple, I noticed they're a company that really likes to control how the phone looks. So I highly doubt, I feel like they might, but, you know, I just, I highly doubt it because I'm starting to notice that Apple, they don't really care. They they want the phone to look uh, and, and feel a certain way. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Which skin do you guys prefer? Be sure to let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.